What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the site, well, you've come to the right place. By now, I'm sure you've all heard of the fight between Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley. I ain't watched it myself, but I've been hearing lots of cries of disappointment. Honestly, I don't see the point of paying to watch this stuff. Seems like everyone leaves these fights feeling miffed and ripped off. So, yeah, I don't got much to say about the fight. I never really was in the sports. Many of you are probably familiar with YouTuber H3H3, who, for a while, has declined in public perception of the broader YouTube community. A lot of people just don't like the guy. That is what it is. Well, it looks like Mr. Klein is looking to leech off the attention that Jake Paul's been getting and drum up some controversy. Here we have a tweet which reads, Reminder that Jake Paul was credibly accused of rape by the New York Times. I was unable to get a good screenshot or archive, but later in the thread, he linked to an article called Jake Paul Promised Him Fame. Was it worth the price? This article was written by Taylor Lorenz, one of many hacked journalists known for making one-sided hit pieces on internet celebrities. We won't be reading most of the article as it appears to be blocked by a paywall and I don't want no trouble with no lawsuits. This article essentially covered members of Team 10, which I suppose was a creator group owned by Jake. The article recounts accusations of mistreatment. However, most of the accusations are just that accusations. There's often little, if any, proof of abuse happening, and as such, you can't take much away from it all. The specific accusation, and I must stress accusation, nothing's been proved, that Ethan Klein was referring to was one made by a TikTok creator named Justine Paradise. Specifically, she accuses him of oral rape. However, the evidence is minimal, with a video recounting the supposed experience and text messages which don't prove much of anything. The story was vehemently denied by Mr. Paul, and supposedly, legal action is being taken behind the scenes. Now, I ain't saying Jake Paul didn't do it, but this just ain't enough to convince me that he did, and I'm a firm believer in innocent till proven guilty. The whole article reads like a hit piece. Hell, the last paragraph is probably the most telling part of the article, where other YouTubers like David Dobrik and James Charles have faced financial fallout after accusations of misconduct. Mr. Paul has yet to see such consequences. If Jake's sponsors and investors don't hold him accountable, then why would he change any of his actions, Miss Paradise said. This article was heavily scrutinized and criticized by those who read it, and with good reason. Most of it is simply unfounded, and much of the focus is on harming Jake's financials. So with that context, you might see why I have issue with Ethan Klein's tweet. There's little to no evidence against Jake Paul, and it hasn't even been proven in a court of law. So to say that he was credibly accused is just inaccurate. Not only that, but New York Times weren't the ones who made the allegations, they merely reported on it. I think the main problem I have with it is simple, and I'll explain it here. Simply put, he's digging up a long, dormant situation where nothing's really been proven to try and rally a mob against Mr. Paul, twisting and perverting context to make Jake seem like a monster. Now, you can criticize Jake for a lot of things, but certainly not this. Not only that, but it's pretty obvious that he's looking to cash in on Jake's current notoriety. I mean, he could have brought this up at any time. Don't you think it's a little too convenient he decided to cause all this after the show. Honestly, I can't see Mr. Klein as being anything but a leech in this situation. It's no wonder why he's fallen out of favor with the YouTube community after all this time. Despicable. And that's to say nothing of how spineless it is to delete the tweet and pretend that it never existed. But of course, failing to take responsibility for his actions ain't nothing new for Mr. Klein. That's all I've got for this shtick. Now, do old Jackie a favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.